understand different type of yeah, so right. right. Now, um, you mentioned that you, you wear a lot of hats. Would it be best for you to be out there to be the head salesperson and have someone else take over some of the no, actually, admin? Actually, the way, when, I, when I say I wear a lot of hats, I, I don't mean it as I have everybody in the positions they need to be in. And actually, I'm not going to have a pretty good staff. But the main thing is, is that when it comes to the actual running of the business part, I wear a lot of hats for that way. Because I still have to play salesperson. You know what I mean? Stuff to do that. Um, you know, besides company, what I did to basically get us smaller, we're actually making more money now because of the fact that I made us smaller. Mm -hmm. I've gotten rid of like two people. Because we only have six people working for us. Mm -hmm. So I had eight at one point. So now I'm to some builder's office around lunchtime and bring them some food and leave your card and don't even, you know, don't even pinch them. Just mm -hmm. give them food and leave your card. And you know what? They're going to eat it and they're going to say, wow. You know, and they're gonna say, wow, that was really good. Or maybe you do leave them, you know, a little brochure about what all the cool things that you do mm -hmm. um, with the food. I think even if it's a little bit of food, it's not like it has to be a meal for 27 people. Yeah, yeah. Well, that I, makes a better impression because they're gonna say, this is amazing food. Yeah, I, I would take that a step further. Uh, chef takes the time to learn all the appliances. You know, I mean, she really has an understanding of what we do in our mm -hmm. industry that can apply to almost any industry. How about, okay, I'm not exactly rich anymore, <laughs> but I can see where she could get partners. I would love to have her walk into some architectural firm that's just been, you know, giving me the finger for three years mm -hmm. and just open the door, lay it all out and say, here's a Timothy J say you're pretty good. I'm pretty good at what I do. Here, how would you like to do this for your clients? That's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Partnerships like that. Yeah. Oh, so many people are marketing to the same people. Yeah, I got you know I got a I beat up on builders all the time. We're running. <laughs> sure. yeah. Do you feel uh, Jackie like you got some good information here? Okay. Should we move along? Uh, uh, what is your initiative? Um, county design, holding business model for our industry. Okay. So <laughs> you gotta you gotta give us something a little tighter than that. <laughs> Oh, that is where we're at. Um, our industry's business model is dead. For a couple of years, and people are finally acknowledging. Which is odd because that's the you business think model. It would be in parallel somehow with the increase and in explosion of technology. Okay, so one thing is to define is how that. the other is dying. What, what's wrong with it? Uh, that's so certain so levels of products of have become commodified. Um, margin is gone. Um, and the real problem is the sales process. And so what do you want to be? Excuse What do you want to be? Uh, well, I'm actually, I'm thinking this all through right now, so I yeah. actually have a lot of, I mean, yeah. we actually have a little model. Yeah. Of, but, so I, I, I got to come up with a question. Um, uh, all right, so let's say you had a, here's a question, let's say you have a new business model for our industry, okay? And you, you've got it, right? And you want to bring it out to people. So you want to do a beta test. Yeah, start beta testing it, start working, developing relationships with the same business model. How would you start doing that besides this group? <laughs> I would go to your key uh, referral sources, like uh, architects. And I would ask them if the new business model is what they think will work in their delivery system. Mm -hmm. They may not know. They may not, but, but, yeah. but they may. Right. Um, the other would be to go to, uh, who else do you, um, maybe not the referral source, but go to the end user. Right. So go to some of your top clients that over the last five years and, and, and create a hypothetical. You're building a new condo in Florida. Right. How would you approach your low voltage needs? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what worked about last time? What, you know, we'll do the five or six that came up with. What do you think? And then we'll, we should, um, everybody give every, the leaders will be up. <laughs> so you're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> on the way, it was brainstorming. Yeah. I got pulled over and had that ticket. Oh, <laughs> no. I thought, okay, what's great about this? Uh, let me think for a few minutes. All right. It's one of our folks. One of our challenges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, the, the bottleneck is in the construction. So I um, can't speed on that strip. 